think that Ponder knows? Of course he knows. A restaurant doesn't open up down the block without every other restaurant owner knowing about it. Well, if he knows, and we know, why are we whispering? I think it's because when a man's livelihood is in jeopardy, it's the only tactful way to gossip about it. But the, just because a, a chain opens a new restaurant doesn't mean people are going to stop eating here. They will if we have to whisper. <laughs> Junior Briscoe's Fun Restaurant isn't just a chain. They've got theme nights, dancing, fun food, big funny hats. Mm. Mm. Uh, well, is everything all right? Great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you are. Oh, what are these for? These are French fries. You eat them. Oh, what a lovely gesture, and I will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're good. Now, do I detect a hint of paprika? Mm -hmm. uh, they're lighter than usual. And <laughs> tangier, too. The taste just jumps off the potato. <laughs> A great beat to it. You can dance to it. I give it a 95. <laughs> New recipe? No, they're from that Junior Briscoe's joint down the street. Actually, they have kind of metallic aftertaste. Yeah. 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 Uh, it tastes like I've been eating copper tubing or something. Exactly. Really? Mine still tastes delicious. <laughs> On the blue, you're a dead man. <laughs> Got my front porch swing, a glass of lemonade, a baby on my knee, I think I got it made. You'd best be believing, I'm never leaving easy shade. They got the different stores, no locks on the doors, and everybody knows your name. They got Sunday school, the golden rule. And every day that passes is slower than molasses And you can't help but smile lying in the shade So come on down and you'll be glad you stayed Don't talk about leaving, I'm never leaving in the shade money for me to babysit. Why not? All you do is park us in a room somewhere and talk on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Molly. But you're still only getting $4. Okay, fine. But this is definitely my last non-union gig. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Will. Hi, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hi, gang. <laughs> Save yourself tonight. Okay. <clears throat> hey, what is it with this mystery date that Herman has? He didn't say that much about her. She just moved to town. They met at the rifle range. Uh, her skate machine broke, and he threw clay pigeons for her all afternoon. Herman met a girl with a loaded gun, and she didn't shoot him? It sounds like a perfect match. No, actually, he sounds pretty happy. Although he did say that there are a couple of things, you know, that they don't quite see eye to eye on. I want you to meet Lee. Lee the Saver. Hi! Hello, Ava. It's nice to meet you. You gonna invite us in or what? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, of course, come on in. Come on. <laughs> uh, what? Um, this is Herman's friend, Tree. I, I, I mean... I mean, Lee. Lee, uh... Sorry, uh, this is my husband, Short. I mean, I mean, Wood. Wood Newton. You have to excuse my wife. She's never met anybody before. How do you do? Well, hey, listen, where is everybody? Oh, uh, uh, Harlan and Merlene said that they wanted to stay home and read medical journals. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> apparently there's some article on liver that they want to read out loud to each other. <laughs> Those two married 31 years, and they still carry on like deeply disturbed teenagers. <laughs> Fontana wanted to eat in, so I guess it's just us. Well, hey, the less the merrier, so I say. <laughs> yeah. Except in your case, of course. <laughs> oh, Herman, isn't he a doll? <laughs> he sure looks like one. So where are we going to go eat? I hear it's hat night at that new Junior Briscoe's Fun restaurant. 
Well, as much as I like to eat in a hat, you know, we generally have supper at Ponder Blues. Yeah, yeah, we always eat at Ponder's. <laughs> always. But, you know, honey, maybe if we just went for appetizers at yeah, Frisco's, I mean, maybe, you know, maybe that would be all right. Yeah, Yeah, but it, it would be kind of embarrassing because we have to walk past Ponder's to get oh. there. Well, not if we went down Elm Street, took a ride on first, dug down that alley, went through the church, cut between those trash bins and entered from the east. <laughs> Well, if the church door is unlocked. Yes. I haven't seen people have this much fun since you and Daddy put together that model airplane in an unventilated area. Well, if it isn't Wood and Ava and Herman and some incredibly tall woman... Doesn't this place just make you want to shake your maracas? <laughs> Herman, hmm? you should ask for a booster seat. Hi, everyone. My name's Judy. And welcome to Junior Briscoe's Fun Restaurant, where fun is our middle name. <laughs> Tonight is Fun Grand Day Night. And what would Fun Grand Day Night be without? Say it with me now. We, we didn't say it. That's okay. We'll just try it again. Ready? Sombreros! Yes! Sombreros! Good! We're going to just have appetizers. Appetizers, okay. Now, y'all don't forget to wear those or you won't get your complimentary margaritas and free tokens for our game room. Now, these lottery tickets are for tonight's grand prize giveaway. Can you believe this place? I know. It's a bit much. Tonight's grand prize is a freezer full of ham. A freezer full of ham? Wow, that's a lot of ham. Do we have to say that together? Now, I'll be right there with the complimentary margaritas and our platter a lay of appetizers. Honey, a freezer full of ham. You are so easy. You want to go to the game room and use our free tokens? Are you kidding? Of course I do. Well, can you believe this place? You get free tokens, freezer full of ham, and goofy hats to wear. Dining out doesn't get any classier than you. Yeah. We're having appetizers. What are you doing? Yeah, I thought you guys were home reading medical journals. Well, we were. Marlene was reading me an article on a, on the liver, and uh, suddenly, because liver is also a food, I started to get a little hungry. <laughs> the truth is, Carlin didn't want you to know that we were betraying Ponder like you are. Marlene, no one is betraying Ponder. <laughs> Daddy! What? We've just, uh, uh, returning these hats we found outside. I thought you were staying in tonight. Well, we were, but then we... Oh, we have no excuse. We're just bad people. Yeah. Well, pull up a chair with the rest of the bad people. Well, I don't think anybody should feel guilty about being here. Oh, that's right. You know, with the roof we took... <laughs> How is Pond Rev going to find out? Boy, it's a good thing the church was unlocked. Oh, no. I'll be right back. What? Colin, there's food on the table. You don't have to go down there. Good evening, everyone. Oh. Hey, Ponder? Ponder. 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 Ponder, hello. Well, Harlan's underneath the table, but... Guard. Hello, Harlan. Hello. You can come out now. Oh. I was just um, dealing the construction of these tables, and I and, and I like yours better. We were only here for a second. I'm just gonna have appetizers, I swear. No, no, go right ahead. Enjoy yourself. I just wanted to see what the place was like and why my place is so empty. Well, now I know. Uh, maybe I'll see you all tomorrow at breakfast. Okay, yeah. Uh, providing I'm still in business. 
We're just having appetizers. <laughs> I wonder if you had to be present to win that freezer full of ham. No, oh, we just stopped the ham. What's with you in that ham? It's like you're threatened by it. I'm or not something. threatened by the ham. <laughs> just look around. The place is empty. I'm telling you, Ponda's in trouble. Now so am I. Tomorrow is Luau night at Junior Briscoe's, and I've been living all week for that poo-poo platter. <laughs> you can kiss the poo-poo goodbye. That might help ponder. So do I. Does yours involve dressing Nub up as a giant rib and putting him in the midst of traffic and waving frantically at passing motorists? No, mine's not quite that unique. I, I just thought that maybe we could each order a ton of food. Hey, Yeah, I'm a ceiling fan. Y'all noticed the shoes, did you? Yeah, it's hard not to. What did you do, mug a Bee Gee? No, look, I just figure if I'm going to be dating a tall woman, it'd be nice to be able to kiss her without having to get a running start. Mrs. Pondersh, follow my lead. Good morning, everybody. I hope I didn't make everybody feel uncomfortable last night. We just had appetizers, I swear. I know, I know. And it's all right. It's all right. Oh, please, that food was so bad, I'm still starving. Mm. Let's see. Uh, I'll have an omelet, some pancakes, an order of waffles, a club sandwich, and some meatloaf. I'll have the same thing and a T-bone steak. Well, I'll have everything they're having, plus all your side dishes. <laughs> Oatmeal. But I'll have it in a very large bowl. Look, look, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I'm not going to stay in business force feeding my friends. I don't want anybody to do anything crazy on account of me. Hi, everybody. So much for what I want. You look like a post-nuclear Gumby. I, I'm a giant rib. <laughs> Isn't it great? <laughs> Except, Ms. Merlene, I was wondering if there was a plan in the event I had to go to the bathroom. No. I see. Wait a minute. You guys are onto something here. And so the zipper was invented. <laughs> What Nub is doing? Advertising. That's what Junior Briscoe's does. If you think I'm going to put a rib outfit on, you're crazy. I'm not going to do that. No, but how about making a TV commercial? <gasps> yeah. I'm sure Taylor can get some camera equipment from his film class. <laughs> I would love to ride it. Look, 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 everybody. This sounds great, but it's just not me. I I've had a good run here. And if it's time to go, time to go. You know, if he's going to quit, what he should do is let a grease fire get out of control so he can collect some insurance money. Guys, we can't let him give up like this. I'll talk to him. Ponder, mm. you can't give up. No, you're just in a slump. No, Wood, this is not a slump. This is the handwriting on the wall. The survival of the fittest. Another restaurant, big and bad as this, came along and kicked my butt. I knew when I was 14 years old, I wanted to be on the varsity football team so bad, but I was too small. And I, I talked to you about it. You remember what you said? Yeah, I told you you were too small, and more than likely you were going to get yourself killed. <laughs> you said that, but you, you also said something else, you remember? I told you that if you really wanted something, you have to fight to get what you want. And don't let anybody stand in your way, at least of all yourself. Bingo. It's time to start fighting. All right, all right. 
But I'm not going to wear one of those rib outfits. <laughs> I'm not either, unless I get a zipper. I'm ready. Okay. So, uh, let's uh, rehearse one. Yes, okay. 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 Ready? And... Action. <laughs> These ribs are just as moist as a kitchen sponge. If there were any moisture, I could wring them out like a hand towel. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm, I, I don't want to interrupt, but I don't think a rib's ability to retain water is a very strong selling point. No, he's got a point. Erna Wallingsford retains water, you'll see her taking any ads. You guys, Ponder's nervous enough about this already. I mean, if he thinks we're having doubts, then he's liable to pull the plug. No. Not yet! <laughs> Mom, let's just start with you one. Okay, fine. And how about that sauce? No wonder Ponder guards his secret recipe as closely as the world's superpowers guard their launch codes for intercontinental ballistic missiles. Yeah, no wonder. Although there's nothing as explosive as a set of taste buds when Ponder's ribs are dropped on them. Yeah, Ponder's ribs are rib-spastic. Herman, it's rib-tastic. You said rib spastic. <laughs> like they were twitching. <laughs> Which can be very unappetizing for a rib. Ponder's ribs are rib tastic. Your turn. And that's no bull. Uh, that's right, because Ponder only serves up pig and cow. I'm sorry, but I, I don't interrupt. I don't think the words pig and cow should be used in a commercial for a restaurant. Is it too much to ask? just to hear my words as written. Well, when the words are pig and cow, then yes. Did somebody say more ribs? Actually, no. It's not your cue. Do I look stupid? Yes. Yeah. Uh, guys, this isn't working. I mean, the problem here is the whole concept. It's fundamentally unhip. Oh, so are we. I know. Uh, luckily, I'm hip enough for all of us. And ponder, I can make you a commercial that people will be talking about for years. This is how the tidy bowl man ended up in the toilet. <laughs> Come to Ponder Blue's Barbecue Villa if you dare. If eating ribs at Ponder's is a sin, then let me be guilty. 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 Save me. I'm a prisoner of his thoughts. Is there no end to this temptation? I tried to warn you. Oh, the smell of it. Barbecue, 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 barbecue! It's not what you expect. A wet wipe, a wet wipe. My kingdom for a wet wipe. Eat me or set me free. Bar. B. Q. Bar. B. Eat me or set me free. Ponder Blue's Barbecue Villa. It's not your usual rib place. I want to know what Ponder put in his sauce to make you all do that. Isn't it incredible? Incredible doesn't begin to describe it. I want to go upstairs, pack up the kids, move to another country. Oh, well, I liked it. I mean, it's different and maybe a little bizarre. All right, who am I kidding? It's very bizarre. But, you know, we did it for Ponder. And so we've got nothing to be ashamed of, right? I mean, all right, all right, so maybe something to be ashamed of. But, you know, come on, who's going to sit in the middle of the night? Please, God! Well, I liked it, too. Although I only got to say one syllable, so I didn't embarrass myself quite as much as you all did. Hey! It's art, man. <laughs> and we all suffered for it. Now I know why my grandmother had all them bunions. Oh, listen, listen. Tell me something. Mm -hmm. 
Do these vertical stripes make me look any taller? Oh, yeah, you look about six feet taller. Listen, if you really like this girl, why don't you just be yourself? You obviously hadn't been single in a long time. <laughs> oh, hey, Lee. What? Uh, hi, Herman. What? Um, this is kind of hard to say, but... No, you don't, you don't, you don't have to say anything, because I already know I'm too short. But look, doing something about it. <laughs> That's not it. My, my ex-boyfriend and I are getting back together. What? I thought it was over, and, and then we met for drinks, and I realized what a huge presence was missing from my life. You ready to go, honey? Yeah. Sean, this is Herman. How's it going, big guy? <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm sorry. I hope you're not mad. Okay. We'll always have some brown night. <laughs> Go get her. What? Go get her. What? Uh, 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 Lee! Help! 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 Lee! I'm not really this tall. It's the vertical stripe. You've never seen I got it. Shrimp. <laughs> All you can eat for a dollar. No, no, no. I, I, I think I'll do just what Herman didn't do, and that's take my chances the way I am. Oh. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I think we all let you down a little. No, no, no way. When a man's friends are willing to make as big a fool of themselves as you people did, that tells him he's got some very good friends indeed. Friends that should keep their day job. <laughs> <laughs> friends who never gave up on me and who wouldn't let me give up on myself. I thank you for that. Are you open? Good morning, ladies. Of course we're open. I haven't seen you people around here in quite a while. Well, I think you'll be seeing a lot more people from now on. You know, that Junior Briscoe's joint has just turned into a terrible drag. But Gladys here scratched her cornea on Viking night. <laughs> on one of those horny helmets. Well, she won't have that trouble around here. Oh, hello, Coach. I just loved you in that commercial. Oh, thank you, Ryan. <laughs> what a jackass. It's nice to have you back. Yes, it is nice. Hey, it's nice to have everyone back. Oh, yeah. A man is never stronger than when he believes in himself. And a man is never more blessed and when he has friends to help him remember that. Like Ponder Blue in a place called Evening Shape.